Welcome back for another video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make 3D video billboards that you can use inside the scene of your game. So here I'm using the scene from the last video, which we made on overlap spheres. If you haven't seen that, be sure to check it out. I'll put a link in the bottom description. On the top of this building, I just have a regular style billboard. This whole scene is just using the Polygon Apocalypse pack from Cinti Studios. So if you haven't seen them, if you like low polygon models like this, be sure to check them out on the Unity Asset Store. They have a lot of really great packs and I tend to use them for a lot of projects. Just create a plane from the 3D object create menu. And then you want to just position it, rotate and scale it to fit where you want it to be on your billboard. We are going to use this as the billboard screen and I'm just going to name it that in the hierarchy. I have a sample video I'm going to use for this billboard. So this is actually a game trailer that a friend made during a game jam. And uh, it's out on Steam now. It's called Where's My Parking Spot. It's a fun little pick up and go little parking simulator type game. So if you want to give that a try, I'll leave the info in the description below. But let's just take this video clip and drag and drop it right onto our object in the hierarchy. You don't actually see a change in the scene view now that we dragged it in but you do notice there's a video player component on the game object now. So if we actually just hit play right now, that video is already gonna play and it's showing on our, our billboard here. Let's take a quick look at some of these settings on the video player. So the first thing is play on awake will be enabled by default and wait for first frame basically means it's not gonna start playing the video until it's all loaded. So that's good to leave on. Uh, loop if you want it to loop. So skip on drop it is a good one to have enabled as well. If your game or the video starts running at a different frame rate, this will keep it in check and drop the frames that it needs to. Here you can adjust playback speed, so either make it play slower or faster. The render mode does have some different options in here, so I'm not going to cover them here, but I might talk about render texture in another video. That's a, a neat one that you could output the video into a texture and then use that on other objects in your game. And the only other option I usually use is mute if I want to mute it so it doesn't play the sound of the video clip and then volume. You could adjust the volume if you wanted. So that's something you'd want to use if you were making a TV out of this or something similar. Let's mute this one since it's a billboard and shouldn't have sound. Now just to show how this actually works with 3D objects, it'll override the material. So if we just create a cylinder and bring this in and just scale it to a bigger size that we want. Now let's just drag on the same video clip, same way we did. And then I'm just gonna set it to loop and also mute since I don't want sound. Now in the game, you're gonna see the video actually wraps around that cylinder completely. So this is something really cool you can do for like futuristic games where you know, you're know you in a subway and there's 3D videos wrapped around all the objects and the pillars. Uh, really, you can use this on any shape, cylinder, square. So if we loop around, you see it's tiled completely around. And if you look on the top, it actually displays on all sides, not just the, the one. So same with on a cube, each side of the cube would display the video. So you can find a lot of cool uses for this, especially using the top of the cylinder like this, where it's just a circle. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see future updates, please click the like and subscribe button below. It really helps me out. And if you make anything cool with this, Post it below in the comments and I'll make sure I check it out and leave a comment. Thanks.